1782, when the idea was brought to Europe by a British naval architect. And so, with the help of Chinese sailing and shipbuilding technology, Britain built her invincible naval armada and forged her empire. Ironically, by the time of the Opium Wars, both the British and the Chinese had forgotten about this transfer of technology. How different the outcome might have been if the two countries had clashed earlier in history. From about the 10th to the 15th centuries, Chinese warships were by far the most powerful in the world. These warships boasted formidable weapons, including the world's first continuous flamethrower. This horrible weapon has a surprisingly ancient origin. A sort of flame squirter was used in the year 675 by the Byzantines. It pumped out bursts of flame, rather like a large syringe. The Chinese invented the first true continuous flamethrower in the 10th century. These flamethrowers used double-acting piston bellows, another Chinese invention, to achieve a continuous stream of flame. This device has two inlet valves. Regardless whether the plunger was being pushed or pulled, air could be sucked in on one side and compressed out the other, thus producing a continuous jet of flame. Perhaps the most impressive weapon invented by Chinese navies was the first multi-staged rocket. After launching, this rocket could apparently fly three or four feet above the water as far as a mile, or just under two kilometers. When the propulsion rockets burnt out, the gunpowder in the belly ignited, launching rocket arrows and destroying the enemy ship. This ancient Chinese rocket, called the Fire Dragon issuing from the water, was an eerie forerunner of the modern Exocet surface-skimming naval rocket. China's powerful warships could have easily dominated European navies of the 16th century.